front of us we have a we have a wind turbine uh, it was built by at least five to six boys uh, students along with uh, our chemistry teacher mr namui and the school electrician uh, it took about at least a week to build this thing and um, it cost nearly 200 kina to purchase the components of the second boat down below um, my friends will come and explain more on the mechanical and electrical aspects for wind turbine okay we have here is the you can see this one is the turbine it is attached to a pulley where through a conveyor belt the, the, uh, the small pulley is attached to the shaft of the motor the motor is an ac motor and um, uh, this one is the flight and yeah mark will explain the purpose of okay. those things when the when the wind blows wind is a kinetic energy moving energy so when it hits the blade the blade rotates when it rotates it is attached to a shaft the shaft is connected into the motor when the shaft spins it cuts the magnetic field inside the motor which produces electricity the electricity then travels through the wire and down into the second board and okay as you have heard um, out there is the generator is the uh, the wind turbine you can see up there okay from the wind turbine will come to the diode the current flows through to the diode uh, the diode prevents the uh, electrons from going in the reverse direction we direct them through the circuit to the controller okay we have the capacitor here in the semantic diagram we have the capacitor in the main uh, components basically because we have a smaller motor in the generator and a larger battery uh, in terms of their charges or space capacity okay from the um, diode that goes to the charge controller and then through to the battery the charge controller regulates the 